Hi, it's Rowan Blanchard, and you're watching Shine On Media. So we're kicking off season two with five big episodes. Which one of those five are you most excited for? Um, the episode I'm most excited for is probably Girl Meets Gravity because I just feel like something really surprising happens in that episode and we get to see how everyone reacts to it, which is really, really cool. And also, um, Corey's Riley and Maya's teacher again. I know I'm excited for Secret of Life because that's uh, it kind of goes into Lucas, uh, my character, goes into my character a lot more into his background, so I'm excited for that. A little bit more about where he comes from, his yeah, family. Exactly, his past and his family and his old friends and stuff like that. That's a good question. Girl Meets Gravity is a great episode, but I'm also super excited for Girl Meets Mr. Squirrels. Because I know that ever since season one started, everyone's like, where's Eric? I've been bugging you about it. You tell me to be quiet. No, seriously. Well, I, I would never tell you to be quiet, but be quiet. Um, <laughs> No, but honestly, Will came to set and just basically walked in like he was a family member. He had no problem slipping back into Eric and made it like the funniest week of our lives. So we love having him here. He's a part of the family, and I'm just so excited for everybody to see the episode. Well, Fredell comes back and he uh, plays Eric Matthews as uh, well that was his character from the original show and it's it's hilarious I'm really excited for everybody to see that one was it fun having him walk on set I feel like it would just be non-stop laugh yeah I don't know how we kept it together because um, every take he would do something different and he would always catch us on go off guard Will's my favorite person he's like in my top five favorite people because he's so positive but yet he's so caring and he's the funniest person you'll ever meet um, he's so talented too he's writing a few episodes. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that he's writing episodes and he is in a couple episodes. So it's just, it's every time he's on set, I feel like everything's lighter. What can we expect with your character coming up this season? Maya has quite a change in season two. I can't tell you like what and how she changes, but you'll kind of see. Maya, Maya starts to come into her own. Like, you know, season one is always like discovering you know, just the basis of setting your character. Up. Yeah, setting the characteristics. But then, you know, as we move on, you kind of see the little quirks and the special things about Maya that you never knew existed. We see more with her mom? Yes, absolutely. Her mom, her dad. You'll see um, a lot of new stuff coming up. I don't even know what's going on, so. Coming up with my character, well, he's maturing, um, as does everybody, um, but they're in eighth grade now. And I think he's just starting to value, I mean, he valued friendship from the beginning, but he's just starting to learn more and um, I don't know, we're growing up. So yeah, I think it's really cool. What can you tease that's coming up with Lucas and uh, Riley? They go on their date. second date. But, um, and then we'll find out what happens after that. Well, exactly, they left off on first date. So now, uh, I, in the first five, it explains, one of the episodes it explains how we transition more into, uh, you'll see, but it, it transitioned, it explains the rest of that story. As things go, that's probably never s smooth sailing, right? Uh-huh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, th th Riley and Lucas, Riley finds out about s something about Lucas that kind of changes um, her perspective about him, and um, it kind of takes an episode for her to realize that that makes him a better person. There we go. I love her relationship, her little crush on Corey's brother. Oh yes, Uncle Josh. Is he coming back? He's coming back, but he's in China right now. So, not Uncle Josh, but Uriah. Yeah. Um, so, but he's supposed to be in a couple new more episodes, so I'm guessing you'll see something there. And then we did this great episode, I think it, no. Actually, it's, it's a little bit later in season two, but we've already shot it. And you see this really good dynamic between the two of them. Yeah. Do an episode where you go back to Philly, to Feeney's backyard, we do. where you recreated the set that we know from Boy Meets World, sort of. What was it like stepping onto that? Did you kind of feel like you teleported back into the original? It was. It, it, I'm sure it was weirder for Ben and Danielle, but um, and Ben was saying it, it was weird to like be in the, the Pennsylvania backyard again. So um, yeah, but it was definitely it was definitely weird for me to be there because I felt like I was almost like invading the Boy Meets World space because Feeney's there and everyone's there and I go on stage and I'm like, hi, I'm just a 21st century kid. What's up, bro? Well, it was pretty amazing just because we were there with Ben, Danielle, and Sean, and you'll see that. And it's just, it's one of my favorite scenes that we've ever filmed, actually. So I'm very excited for that episode as well. Um, and it was really cool to be a part of that, you know, being the new generation um, and kind of being accepted into the old family. It's really sweet. That episode deals with a time capsule. So if you could put a Girl Meets World uh, memory that you've had so far in a time capsule, what would it be? Oh, a Girl Meets World memory. Probably the locket from season one. I probably put Maya's locket in there, or the one that she stole. Oops. Um, I'd probably put that in there because I think that's, uh, 
Maya's whole life is kind of surrounded by family, weirdly enough, even though she doesn't realize it. So. Well, they need to watch season two because it keeps on going from season one, and there's a lot more exciting stuff coming up, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I think everybody should tune into season two because um, we have a lot more lessons coming, and um, we are covering more mature topics because of its it's uh, season two, so we're growing up, and it's just going to be really cool. Why should people turn into season two? Um, because it's going to be the most baller season that we've ever had so far. Um, you're going to see us all grow up, and uh, a lot of fun little triangles and circles and surprises coming, and great guest stars. It was cool. We had to redo the backyard set, which was mainly like Feeney's backyard. So not so much the Matthews backyard, but the Feeney, Feeney backyard. And Caleb go in the corner and we're like, okay, what should we do? And I was like, well, do you know how to dance? And he's like, uh, describe, know how to dance. And 